Hi, Exa. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hey, Welcome Exa. to the English class. <laughs> <laughs> hey, today you were very early. Yes. Wow. Did you sleep well? No. <laughs> no again? Oh my God. Yes, again at 1 a.m. <laughs> Did you download the, 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 the files? I remember you told me yesterday. Ah, yes. Yes, the, yesterday at 10 a.m., uh, the teacher uh, shared the, the link to download ah, the, okay. the file. Ah, so, excellent. So you have uh, the rest of the day to do that? Yes, at 2 or 3 p.m., mm -hmm. I, I, I got Finished. the file in my computer. Oh, okay, good. And you did homework because you told me that that file was supposed to be for doing uh, something. Yes, I don't know. but uh, oh, we have a, a presentation, so the time is over for the it, well in all presentation and no have time to to start the practice. Ah, okay. So, in in how much time is the class? Uh, three hours. Three hours class. Wow. Yes. That's a lot. But from from seven to ten or from eight to eleven. I don't know. Uh, seven thirty to nine thirty. To nine thirty. Ah, okay. Hmm? Well, that's okay. Three hours, but only once a week, Exa. No. No. If, well, for example, in this week, uh, we had class. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the next week, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so you changed? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Wow. And that, but that is the only one you have, right? Yes. Ah, yes. okay, good. But that, that's, that's nice. But three hours is a lot of time, my friend. And how many classmates do you have? Uh, can you repeat this? How many classmates do you have in that class? Uh, uh, 11. 11, okay, it's a good number. Okay, and what was the presentation about? Uh, it's a presentation about BI software, uh, okay. business intelligence software. Uh, so the time for, well. Uh, <laughs> Some people maybe speak a lot. Yes, the a specific time to all group mm -hmm. it, it was thirty minutes, but just me, for example, I spent twenty. Okay, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes just for me, so, and the other uh, partner almost the same time, so. So the uh, three hours, so the yes, three hours were for presentation? Uh, no, three hours for all presentation, but uh, our group uh, spent one hour, so. Only one, <laughs> only one group. Okay, only now we group. understand, okay, so, and what about the other guys? They will continue today. Uh, yes, yes, okay. uh -huh. the presentation continue today for two group more. For two, ah, okay. So uh, maybe one hour and a half for each. Mm, maybe, maybe. Ah, okay, that's it. But that's in the Spanish, right? When you speak. Uh, yes. Yes. yes ah, in okay. Spanish, but some information is in English, so we have to speak in English too. <laughs> I see. Uh huh. Uh, there are terms, right? Uh, some things that you in your career you use for referring to something specifically and it's in English there is no translation yet yes okay hey very nice so you didn't sleep wow mm, no no because I slept at 1 a.m. because I can fall asleep I try <laughs> I try at, uh -huh. at 12, but I can. You, 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 I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I could. Oh, oh my God. Have you ever, have you ever considered 
to to do something for that or uh, well i don't know exactly you're you're still young so you don't feel the side effects but when we don't sleep very well for many days there are like you know side effects efectos secundarios like side effects um for example headaches or uh, bad temper sometimes uh, i don't know uh, stress more stress than one that you have so have you had those symptoms uh, well the the symptoms that i feel is stress mm -hmm. for example for today i feel a little stressed but okay. eh, you, you I, manage I, I, <laughs> it's common yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna play some minutes and, mm -hmm. and finish yeah, this. <laughs> I, I know and, and that's what I, I, I see that that's what I told you right that when you're 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 very young you feel that it happened to me I couldn't sleep very well for almost one month and I was extremely extremely I don't know out of my Mm -hmm. uh, my word, my, my husband told me, hey, it's something happening to you. Are you okay? And I said, I don't know what's going on. But when I listened to my daughter crying, for example, I was like very angry. And then I, I was little, I had little patience. So it was like that. I couldn't sleep in the, in the, the beginning of the quarantine. I couldn't mm -hmm. sleep. And I went to bed sometimes at 2 a.m., one half midnight if oof. but and then yes. every single day i felt the change in my in my body and in my temper in my uh, mental health i don't know and i decided i went to to my mom's house for one week to relax full <laughs> <laughs> yes my my neighbor for example uh, they went to sleep at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Wow, okay. And woke up at 10, 11, okay. 12. Yeah, very so crazy, you know, the schedule. All, mm -hmm. all the routine, all the daily routine changed. And <laughs> for example, when I I was taking my, taking my lunch, mm -hmm. They are uh, sleeping. With the breakfast, with exactly, the breakfast, exactly. So. Some people uh, started to eat breakfast at noon and then they lunch about 6, <laughs> 5 p.m. Yes. Uh -huh. so yes. Was, and the dinner about 11 p.m. Okay. Yes. I was crazy. At 11, I, was crazy. I, I, I saw. <laughs> you saw, I saw that? The, and some friends. Yes. yes, I did almost the same. And my daughter was crazy too in her sleeping in her daily routine everything was very different thank god now we have a better routine a kind of more normal routine than before so we hope everything can continue like this and we can get like normality okay soon because that's i don't like when i don't sleep <laughs> the next day i feel very bad stress more stress angrier Okay, I feel like, I don't know, like Gabby. Ah, Gabby. <laughs> Hi, Gavita. Are you there, hey, Gavita? How are you, Gavita? <coughs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. What time did you yeah. get up today, Gavita? We were talking about getting up early or late. With, well, uh, going to bed early or late with Exa. Mm -hmm. uh, look, uh, I um, wake up. Late. <laughs> Very late. <laughs> yes. What time do you go to bed, Gabby? Uh, maybe 12 p.m. Uh, oh no, I am. <laughs> a.m.? Oh, I was like, <laughs> you sleep a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, a.m.? A.m. Okay. Uh -huh. So you're sleeping about five hours, Gabby? Yes. Mm -hmm. I see that. Oh, it's 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 little time. And do you do that every day or only when you're working? Um, every day. Some uh, I don't know. 
-hmm. Depends. I am very, very tired. I slept 9 or 10 p.m. Ah, okay, okay. So it depends on you, your your, your body. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. That's it. You know, this is a, supposedly sleeping eight hours a day, but uh, every day, sorry. Um, but sometimes it's impossible. Yes. It's impossible. Very impossible. But that's nice. Nice to have you here, guys. Yes. Uh, Today I was, as I was talking about that with Exxon because he was first here today, okay? He always. Was, yes, uh -huh. <laughs> always, always, okay? Well, my friends, we're going to talk about today, okay, um, models, okay? We're going to talk about past models, okay? The video conference for today's class. Uh, this is a new topic, okay? Yesterday we were discussing about superlatives, okay? And short and long answers. This is a new topic. I have never given this topic to you. So it's gonna be the first time maybe that you listen to this. So we're gonna get like, uh, you know, closer attention, okay? To this, this topic. So this topic is for past models. It's because we are gonna learn today how to give uh, or how to express regrets, you know? Regrets. Do you know what a regret is, Gabi and Exa? Do you know that? Regret. Do I say them? Ah, that's greet. It's different. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, it's different. Okay, regret. Okay, this is what we're going to learn today. The word say regrets. Arrepentimientos, okay, regrets. Ajá. Ay, si hubiera ido allá, ay, si me hubiera casado con. Ah, okay. okay, ay, mejor me hubiera ido. Those are regrets, we we'll express regrets in, 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 in the past, okay. Franklin, hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, Frank, Frank, Frank. Okay. So you see, uh, this is the topic that we are going to we're going to study. Okay, today. And obviously, for this topic is uh, an obligation, right? Practically, it's an obligation. Okay, to know this. Okay, uh, this part. Okay. okay. That's it. This <clears throat> is just to refresh. Refresh your memory, okay? For the past participles, this is something mandatory. This is an obligation that we have to know for this topic, okay? So today we are going to refresh our memory with past participles. I remember I gave you a list a long time ago for the verb be, and then you, you learn like this. Be, was, where, been. Do you remember? Uh, do, did, done. Go, went, gone. Oh. I remember that you were, you were doing this. Eat, ate, eaten. Right? You, you did this if some months ago. Um, then you started with write, wrote, written. Okay. So this is the last, the last, uh, the last column is the one that we're gonna use today. Okay. And we're gonna start here with a pairing, okay? This is a memory game that I have for you, okay? It says the number one, match the verbs in the word cloud, and the number two is play in the game board, okay? Here, I want you to have a very good memory, okay? We're gonna start with Franklin, okay? Remember, those are the, 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 the verbs, right, that I, I'm talking about. Falling, bought, gone, made, paid, okay, written, uh, driven, uh, written, mm -hmm. seen, okay, done, etc., etc. okay? Then uh, I have the board, and then you have to show, okay, you have to tell me, right? Remember, we're gonna work in columns here, okay? Column one, okay, column two, column three, four, five, six, seven, and column eight. And then you mention the number. For example, if you say column three, a verb a, or, or, or a square two. Okay, so I'm gonna discover this, right? Okay, this one. And right now they are hidden. So we're going to look for the matching verb, okay? So Frank, what column do you prefer now? Column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight?
You're mute. Uh -huh. Frank, eh, activate your mute. Sorry. Okay, there you go, Frank. Okay, which... Colon... Mm -hmm. eh, colon one. Colon one, okay. What square? Yes. One, two, three, or four? Four. Number four, okay. This is for you. Okay, speak. Okay, you have to look for the past participle, please. Tell me, other, other square. Um, column four. Column four. Mm -hmm. uh, square, square four. Square four, okay. Speak, Britain. Okay, well, they are okay. completely different. Okay, Gabby, this is your turn. Um, column five. Column five, uh-huh. Uh, number three. Number three, excellent. Okay, driven, uh-huh. Give me other, please. Uh, column seven. Column seven, uh-huh. Number one. Okay, number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number one. Spoken, okay, no. Okay, exa. <laughs> uh, color one, color square one. four, square four, speak, and column seven, square one, a square one, ah. okay, spoken, very good, excellent. <laughs> Eso no se vale. <laughs> Thank you, Gaby. This is what we say. Uno no sabe para Thanks, qué. Gaby. <laughs> yeah. Okay, speak, spoken, okay, very good. Okay, continue, Frank. Speak, spoken. Okay, um, column three. Column three. Mm -hmm. Column three y e, 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 square e, five. Square five. <laughs> no, we don't five. have five. Come on. Perdón, <laughs> uh, four. Four. Sorry. <laughs> okay, real. Uh -huh. Give me other, please. Um, no, no. Uh, column four. Column four. Uh, square three. Square three. Okay, real. Made. Okay, no, it's not. It's not here. Okay, Gabby, once again. No, Exa, Exa. <laughs> so maybe Exa. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Column, column A, square three. Mm -hmm. Okay, column A, square three. That's it, this one. Pay. Uh -huh. This new. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Column five, square two. Square two. Pay right. No, there is no matching there. Okay, I'm sorry, Gabby. Um, column three. Column three. Uh, number one. Number one. Run. Okay, this is new. Uh huh. Next, Gabby. Um. Column six. Uh -huh. uh, number two. Okay, number two, this one, right? So, red or read. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, hello, Claudita, Claudia, Joana, Cynthia, Veronica. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Okay, Good morning. so happy, so happy to have you here. My friends, you have to uh, find verbs, okay? This is memory game for verbs in past participle, okay? I'm going to ask uh, Carlita, Joana, please tell me one column. Which one do you, uh, do you want? The column, the column six. Column six, uh-huh. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Carlita, square, what number? One, two, three, or four? One. Number one. one. Okay, fall. Okay, give me another one, please. Uh, a column five, mm -hmm. square four. Square four, okay. Fall, C. Sí. No, Carlita, okay. Ileana, this is for you. Better luck for you, Ileana. Mm -hmm. Okay, column two. Column two. And square three. Square three, okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. New verbs, new verbs. Uh -huh. New verbs. Okay. Next. Column four, mm -hmm. square four. Square four, oh, uh, this is repeated, I think. Yes. Britain, okay, Britain and by, no, no matching, okay. Sinia, this is for you. Uh, 
Colón one. Colón one, ajá. Square two. Square two, okay. Drink, okay. Continue, please, Cynthia. Look for the past participle. Um, Colón four. Column four, mm -hmm. what, what square? Three. Column three, okay. Drink maid, no, my friend, okay. No matching, Veronica, okay. This is for you. Column A. Uh -huh. Column three. Mm -hmm. No, column A. A. Ah, eight. eight, okay, I'm sorry, okay. Uh -huh. Square three. Square three. Okay, pay. Okay, that's it. Next, please. Column uh, five. Column five. Uh huh. Square, Square four. Four. Okay. So C. No, there is no okay matching. That's it. Once again, there we continue. Remember that to uncover more. Okay, exact. Um, column two, square one. Make. <laughs> okay, you already have made, uh huh? Where is it? Mm -hmm. I forgot. <laughs> okay, somebody can help. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm going to say something. Okay, go ahead. Something new, uh, some new, some new. Uh -huh. uh, column four, no, uh, square one. No, 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 I, I say that I'm going to tell uh, one, uh, one new. Uh, one no, new. but tell me the answer. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Okay, number one, it's a sin. Ah, you what? have two now. You have two. Yes. Sin and make. Okay. Uh -huh, Gabby, come on, Gabby. Take Ay. advantage. Ay, ya no me acuerdo cuál dijo. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Try to remember. Uh huh. Um, column two. Column two. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one. Uh huh. Me. Uh huh. Okay. And number. Uh, no, column. Uh -huh. Column four. Column four. Number three. Ah, okay, number three. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Franklin, continue. Okay. But make made speak spoken. Uh huh. Next, Frank. Um, column C, six. Ah, ah well, column six, uh huh. Uh, like column, nine. column six, uh, square one. Full. Okay, another one. This is repeated. Uh -huh. This is repeated. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, column six, mm -hmm. uh, square two. Read or red? No, nope, no matching. Okay, Ileana. Column three. Column three. Two. Square two. Paid. Hey, we have the other verb. Uh huh. Remember. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, Ili. Uh, column eight. Eight. Uh huh. Square three. A square three. Are you sure? For one thousand no. dollars. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> very good, Ili. Uh -huh. Paid and pay. Uh -huh. Very good. Carlita Joana, this is your turn. Uh, column one, number three. Uh -huh. Go. Oh, this is new. This is new. Mm -hmm. Yes. And column seven. Column seven. No, number two. Number two, go boat. No, hey, you have already the, the present. So no, my friend, is not this one, okay? okay. <laughs> That's it, Veronica. Go ahead. Column um, six. Column six, uh-huh. Number four. Uh-huh, number four. Gone! Come on, um, Vero, come on, Vero. Is, uh, column one. Column one. Square three. Square three, Vero, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gone, excellent, okay, very good. Sinia, this is for you. Column four. Column four. Mm -hmm. No, square four. 
Square four, okay. Written. Um, Next. Column, column eight. Column eight. Uh -huh. Square. Number one. One. Square number one. Okay, there we go. We're going to check here. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Wow, that was a big coincidence. No, no, no. You did it. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, excellent. Very good. Let's see. Let's continue, right? Okay. Uh, Franklin. Um, column, column two. Column two. Mm -hmm. Square three. Square three. Okay. Uh, bye. That's okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You have it. Okay. Uh, bye. And column seven. Column seven. Uh, square two. Square two. Okay. Ah, cross fingers. But excellent. Okay, very good. Nice. Exa, continue, please. Both by. Um, column seven, number four. Seven, number four. Uh huh. Done. Okay. And this is new, I think. This is column. new. Yes, column this is new. five. Column five. Number two. Number two, okay. Right, okay. No, 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 no. This is not okay. Ili? Column six. Number Column two. six. Uh -huh. Number two. Number two, okay. Read or read. Uh, I don't know, it depends. Uh -huh. uh, in column. Five, number two. Column five, number two. Next two. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Okay, yeah. there we go. Right, no. Well, well, similar, similar, but no. Gabby. Hi, Gabby. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Column three. Mm -hmm. Number four. Number four, okay. Real, hey. Mm -hmm. And um, number six, number two. Number two, read, read. Excellent. Very good. Read, read. Okay, Carlita, Joanna, one for you. Uh, column five. Column five. Number four. Number four. C. Hey, uh -huh. C. I... What is the other one? Color and column two, number two. Number two. C, C, drive. Eh. No. <laughs> Cynthia, go ahead, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> go ahead, Cynthia. Column eight. Column eight. Mm -hmm. Square four. Square four. Okay. R ribbon. <laughs> You have the answer, come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> and column five. Okay, column five. Uh huh. Square two. Two. Okay. Right. Excellent, Cynthia. Very good. Right. Written. Very good. Okay. Next. Okay. We are going to ask a, let's see, a, well, Frank. Mm, column column four column square, four square two square two okay do hey uh -huh. do uh, okay Frank use your memory column one column one column <laughs> uh, square two two okay do drink eh. I, no I okay. think <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, no, it's not correct. Okay, Dalila, please. Hello, good morning, Dali. Morning. Hi, good morning. Okay, give me a column, Dalila, please. Square number two, oh no, it's, it's used. Square two, only the colors, please. Three. 
Number three. Okay, there we go. And we have eat. Okay. Oh, this is new. Uh -huh, this is sí, new. new. Okay, Dalila, please give me another one. Pie. Uh huh. Square one, two, uh, three or four. One, three or four. Square one. One. Okay. Eat. Eh? Yeah. Dale. Yeah. Oh my God. Is it lucky? Is it what happens when you take a shower? Ah. <laughs> it's eating. Very good. Okay. Very good. Lástima no era para taco es. Okay. <laughs> pero, go ahead, pero. This is for you, pero. Come on. Okay. Very good, Linda. Okay. Column four. Column Square four. Square one. Okay. Sorry. Okay, this one. Sin. Hey, Vero, you have the answer. Column five. Column square five. four. Okay, square four. That's it. Excellent. Very good, Vero. Okay, Exa, go ahead. Next for you. Um, I don't know if it's new. Column A, number two. Column A, number two, uh, let's check. Drunk. Drunk. Mm -hmm. okay. Column new. one, number two. No, column one, number two, drink. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. And you know cereal is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sinia, please. And then Ileana. Mm -hmm. Column number one. Number one, uh huh. Square one. One. Okay, that's it. How? Yeah. Um, column eight. Oh, column eight. No, eight uh, is already done. Oh, okay. okay, seven. Mm -hmm. Seven, uh huh. Four. Number four. Okay, how done? No. Okay, that's it. Ili. Okay, column seven, number three. Number three. Uh huh. Run. Um, hey, this is very easy. But maybe you don't know Ili because we did it at the beginning of the class. Uh huh. Run. This. Mm, column two, number four. Ah, okay. Three. <laughs> three. Uh huh. Column three. Column three, number one. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Very good, Lily. Por el del honor, vea, Gaby. Okay, Gaby. Go ahead. This is your turn. Please give me the column and the number. Column seven. Column seven. Uh huh. Number four. Number four. Done. Okay, Gabby, you know where the verb is. Uh, number four. A column four. One, two, three, four. This one? Uh, Obviously. Square two. two. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Carlita Joanna, give her the opportunity, please, God. Uh -huh. Okay, Carlita Joanna. Column. <laughs> uh, Five. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three. Driven. It's new. Um, <laughs> it's easy, it's easy, but maybe you were in at the beginning of the class. Uh -huh. um, okay, you are um, column one. Mm -hmm. uh, column two. two. <laughs> okay, column two. Uh -huh. Column two. Number two. <laughs> too, I don't remember, but <laughs> okay, there we go. Dry, driven, excellent. <laughs> Very good, Carlita. Okay, this is the first one for you. Okay, then we have a Sophie. Okay, Sophie, give me the column and the number of a square, please. Column one, column one, Sophie. Obviously, number one, Hal. Uh huh, column two, uh, square. Four. Four. Okay. How fail? Uh, no. No. <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, let me check here. We have Juan Carlos. Hello, Juan Carlos. Good morning. 
Hello, good morning. Hi, Juanca. Uh -huh. give, me, give me the columns, please. Okay. Column six. Column six, number one or number three? Number one. Number one, uh -huh. fall. Okay. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Column two, number four. Column two, number four. Ah, okay. We're going to have a parenthesis here. Aquí es fall y aquí tiene que decir fallen. Okay. This is a, a, a mistake. I'm going to correct it. Ahí. Se me fue esa. Okay, I'm going to correct it. This is falling. Okay, but it's correct right now. Matching. Okay, very good. Fall, falling. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's see once again. Veronica. Okay. <laughs> Veronica de Montes. Okay, very difficult. It's <laughs> column one, square one. Uh -huh. And column six, square three. Square three. Ah! Oh, millionaire. Very good. Okay. That's it. Very good. You see, these are the past participles. This is just to refresh. Eaten, seen, paid, driven, written, spoken, bought, run, done. Okay. Those are the verbs that we are going to study today. Okay. Have a beautiful morning, everybody. Blanquita, Brenda, okay, uh, Sophie and Juan Carlos, we are here. Okay. So we are here to learn, okay, about uh, past models. Okay. This is the topic that we are going to start. Um, les decía a los chicos, si saben que es regret, esa palabra, regret. Do you know? Regret, no? The no, word regret. No. Okay, vayan pensando en su pasado ahorita, please. Is arrepentimiento, right? Look, what is it? Regret. This is the, 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 the name, okay, for this. And there is a statue there, like, I know. Mm. When you, for example, Ili, when you, when you, uh, when you have uh, a tole, right? Corn a tole, tole de lote. <laughs> and then you drink water. <laughs> 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 One hour later, my friend. Ah, no. Ve? No debía haber bebido agua. Okay? No debí de haber ido. No debí de haber de dicho que sí. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so these are my friends' regrets, and this is what we are going to talk about today, okay? This is the structure that we're going to use. We have to use here, should, should, have, in the past participle. Ven porque estuvimos practicando el past participle, because we have to know the past participle, right? Should, have okay this is the structure that we're gonna use for expressing regrets in english right we are going to study two structures this is the number one should have okay so for example here i have the first one exact can you please read the 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 <laughs> okay the, the 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 sentence she cover here her eyes instead of her nose and mouth. And mouth, okay. This is what happened. Un regret siempre va a estar basado en algo que pasó en el pasado, right? Es algo que usted no puede cambiar. It's something you cannot change. This is a regret, okay? So, the woman covered her eyes instead of nose and mouth. Now, she has coronavirus. Y ella se arrepiente ahí en la cámara. No debí de haberme cubierto los ojos. O debí de haberme cubierto la boca y nariz. So, depends. This is the regret, okay? So, for regrets, okay, my friends, you have to use the structure that I'm going to present, okay, right now. For the regrets, you have to use, okay, uh-huh. Then you have a, the subject, obviously, uh -huh, the subject, plus should, okay? This is the stuff here. El auxiliar should, el modal, right? Should. But you have to use it together with have, eh? should have, 
should have plus the past no past tense no past participle okay that's it and then we have the complement right this is the structure that we're going to use to express regrets okay in this case so if it is the structure subject should have past participle and complement okay so what is the regret of this woman ¿Cuál podemos poner ahorita? The regret for this woman. Uh -huh. So, ella ahorita dice, o usted hace, right? She, for example, le she dice. She should have her, uh -huh. her nose and mouth. She, uh -huh, should have covered, past participle cover is regular, so ed covered hair mouth oops sorry uh, co she should have covered okay her mouth and no. nose very good that's it y ahí tiene ella el primero miren no hombre ella debió de haberse cubierto la boca y nariz Another one that you have there, okay? Ella debió de haber visto un tutorial primero. <laughs> How to use a mask. So another one. She should, oh my God, I'm sorry. She should uh, have seen a tutorial first. <laughs> okay, that's it. This is another one, right? Ella debió de haber visto, right? Ella debió haberse cubierto. So, this is something that you express based on past actions, okay? And obviously, the past is not good because if you are saying this, that means that your past decisions were not correct, okay? Like, like Illy, for example, <laughs> the example, right, Illy? She drank atole, right? A lot of atole with corn and one crazy corn. And then water. One hour later, <laughs> oh my gosh, she has a stomach aches, right? So she starts thinking, no debí de haber bebido, eh? I shouldn't have past participle drunk, drunk. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have drunk a tole or mixed a tole with water, water. okay uh -huh. exactly so this is how we express regrets in this case okay so I'm going to ask you okay for some regrets tell me Something, Carlita Joana, something that you did yesterday or you didn't do yesterday and now you regret. Esto no es solo porque lo hizo. A veces nos arrepentimos por cosas que no hacemos. Oh, ¿por qué no lo? <laughs> wow, something that comes to my mind right now. It could be like, ay, ¿por qué no le hablé? <laughs> okay. Bueno, Exa, ¿por qué no le dije que mamá? <laughs> okay. So, Regrets, that's it. Give me, give me examples, please. Give me examples. I want to listen to your examples. Remember, should, uh -huh, should have plus a, a, remember, PP in this case is past participle. Okay, that's it. <laughs> or you can do it negative, guys. Okay, shouldn't. Okay, shouldn't have plus the PP, okay? There we go. Carlita Joana, give me examples of, could be your I examples or, or your friend's I, examples. Mm -hmm. uh, I shouldn't have watched TV at 11 o'clock. Ah, okay. Joana, uh, shouldn't, right? Yes. Uh, sh 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 oh my God. Mm -hmm shouldn't have watched okay tv uh-huh until i, I want to change the until late yes. hasta tarde okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. ¿Por qué dice eso porque ahora está muriendo el sueño yes. <laughs> uh -huh. so you say, i know i should have watched 
I shouldn't have, uh, I remember uh, one day uh, <laughs> Dalila told me, teacher, please, uh, you, you have to see Dark, the series in Netflix, Dark, Dark, and Dark. <laughs> and I decided to watch Dark. Ah, Dalila told me that, so I said, okay, maybe it's nice. Huh? Grandes pesadillas, Jaime. So, <laughs> yeah. yes, I was like, ah, oh, primero que no la entendí, I didn't understand. And then I was like, I don't know, I, I didn't like very much the, the environment. So, algo que yo pude haber dicho es, oh, no, I shouldn't have seen that series. Eh? I shouldn't have seen. So, Joanna, Joanna shouldn't have watched TV until late. Okay, very good. Franklin, what about you? Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> I shouldn't have. Uh -huh. You can use negative uh, or present, okay? Yes, uh, plates. Play, okay. Plates, uh, plates. Played, uh huh, very good. I sh uh, Frank shouldn't have played, uh huh. Uh, PlayStation, uh huh, played, okay. <laughs> uh, PlayStation, oh, uh, uh, -huh. Games. uh huh, very good. Okay, video games. computer games, uh huh, uh, video games, very good. Okay, very good. Frank uh, shouldn't have played video games. Why? Because maybe the consequence was having a headache or maybe falling asleep during the work, or etc. Okay, that's why he said so. Okay, Sophie, what about you? Give me one, please. Something that you did or you didn't do and now you regret. Comido, bebido, hecho, I don't know. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have eat Past participle, Sophie. Should eat. Past, past participle of eat. Eaten. Eaten. Uh huh. Very good. Eaten. Sophie shouldn't have eaten. Eaten. Mm -hmm. A lot. I'm sorry. A lot. A lot. Ah, okay. Very good. Sophie shouldn't have eaten a lot. Sophie says, I shouldn't have eaten a lot. Okay. Now she feels very, you know, with a, a full. Okay. That's it. Great. Gabby, give me another one. Hello, Gabby. Are you there? Obero? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh, Gabby. <laughs> Sorry. Ay, no me debí de haber ido. <laughs> okay. Um, I, um, I should have, mm -hmm. uh, I don't no remember what is the, the past part, the past part called send. Send. Sent mm -hmm. the payroll. Ah, okay, very good. That's it. I know. Yesterday, I don't know. I should have sent the payroll. Yes, exactly. Yesterday. Uh huh. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Debí de haber enviado. Okay, pero no lo hizo. But you didn't do it. Okay. So you see, this structure, guys. Okay, is for showing regrets of something that you did or didn't do. Lo difícil de esto es que se acuerden del past participle, ¿ok? <laughs> no past tense, no. No go, no, no went, no ate, no drank, no, no, no did, no. Done, drunk, eaten, gone, been, etc. ¿Ok? That's it. So, this is the first structure that I have. Uh, do you have any questions with this structure? Questions? It's okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. It's, it's okay. If you have questions, let me know. Okay. So I should have or I shouldn't have. No debí de haber bla bla o debí de haber bla 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 etc. Okay. That's it. So we continue with the second. Okay. What is the second one? This is a, another way to express this, right? 
that's it. These are four uh, hypothetical situations, right? That's it. Ili, can you please read? Last month, Brian was in the hospital for an operation. Liz didn't know this, so she didn't go to see him. They met a few days ago. Liz said, if I had known you were in the hospital, I would have gone to see you. Liz said, if I had known you were in the hospital, so she didn't know. Okay, very good. This is a little a uh, problem, right? Ah, Brian was in the hospital, but he didn't say anything to Liz. So we are gonna practice today, guys. Okay, the following structure. Vamos, se llama tercer condicional, third conditional. Okay, and what is the third conditional, guys? To express a real or hypothetical situations. Okay. Ah, el famoso en español, me hubieras dicho. <laughs> ok, si yo hubiera sabido, ay, te hubiera dado los mil dólares, pero no me dice nada, Frankie. ¿Yo qué vas a ver? Ok, so, no, no, pues, amor. Ajá, but it's unreal, it's unreal, because, ah, no, pero es que yo ya no lo quiero. Te digo, bueno, pero si me hubiera pedido, yo le hubiera dado. You see, but this is unreal or hypothetical situations, right? In this case, we use the third conditional, okay? So, look at this I have here. If I had, okay, if I had had money, I would have been happy, okay? So, I had no money, I was unhappy, and now that's it. This is only the structure, but I'm gonna share the structure with you, okay? So, we must use, uh, use would not, wouldn't it if part sentence. Esta oración tiene dos partes, okay? Look at this. I'm gonna share only this one, okay? La primera parte empieza siempre con if. Remember, si. Pero no como, do you like chicken? If. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, if for conditional. Bah, si se portan bien, les mando pupus. A ver, if you behave very well, that's it. Ese if, ¿ok? In the first part, my friends, in the first part, over here, I want you to use the first part is, ¿ok? A past perfect. Past perfect, ¿ok? Uy, teacher, ¿y eso del past perfect qué es? Well, va a usar if, ok, well, in this case, if, pronoun, obviously, y tiene que usar este, miren, had, ok, and the past participle, right? That's it. Ahora vamos a jugar con este, had. Anteriormente jugábamos con should, Okay, but now it's ha it should have, and now it's have. If I had, okay, that's it. And then, my friends, obviously, the complement that you want to use, and something important, the coma. Coma, okay? Esta es la primera parte de la oración. Si yo... Si yo no hubiese estado tarde, this is the translator in the translation, sorry, in Spanish. Okay, so you can have an idea what we're gonna do. If I had, okay, si yo hubiese, pero ya no se puede cambiar el pasado. This is only about hypothetical, o otra vez, regrets. Okay, for example, okay. yes, mm -hmm. the structure. Uh, this is if must complement, must have, must pp, must complement. Uh huh. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna complete it better here. Okay. If a uh, plus subject. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Plus have plus pp, and this is the the, the these ones are uh, the complement. Okay. And the comma okay. is important. The comma. Very important. Uh, 
But this PP is for past perfect, not uh, past participle. No, this is, uh, in this case, uh, uh, Ili, past participle es solo el verbo. Pero todo esto, had, PP, is past, pa, uh, past perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Cuando le digo past perfect, es had en, pla, en PP. Okay, the past participle form of the verb. So I'm going to give you examples so you cannot get confused. Uh -huh. Si yo, okay, y si yo no hubiese estado, this is the example that you have there. Let's see another one. If I, if, subject, ve? Ay, si hubiera comido. <laughs> ve? If I had eaten, ve? Early, si yo hubiese comido temprano. Y ahí sigue la demás oración, pero ahorita solo les estoy enseñando la primera parte. I'm sure you just part. Uh -huh. If I had eaten early, ok, other example. Ay, no. Si mi mamá hubiera cocinado, no me hubiera hecho daño la comida. ¿ve? Si mi mamá hubiese cocinado. If my mom had Past participle of cook is regular, cooked. ¿Ve? If, I, if my mom had cooked the lunch, coma. This is the first part. If I had eaten early, if my mom had cooked the lunch, okay, I'm going to give you a third one, okay? Ay, si hubiera dicho que sí, Ok, si yo hubiese dicho que sí. If I had sell, past participle of say, if I had sell, yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Where is this one? If I had said yes. Eh? Coma. Boom. That's it. Ahí tenemos la primera parte, ¿ok? That's it. Quiere decir que cuando usted mire el if, siempre va a pensar en had en past participle. What is the negative for had? Hadn't. ¿Ok? If I had eaten early, si yo hubiese comido temprano, if my mom had cooked the lunch, si mi mamá hubiese este, cocinado o hecho el almuerzo, si yo hubiese dicho que sí, if I had said yes, pero aún así nos queda inconclusa la oración. Le falta la second part, ¿ok? So, the second part is something that I'm going to share with you. If I had been late, ok, this is the, the past perfect part, ok. If subject had plus past participle, ok. In the 50% de la explicación, do you have questions? Alguna pregunta? That's okay? Okay. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to delete this because I need to continue with the other one. Okay, so look at the second part, okay? That's it. Right? We wouldn't have missed the train. Si yo no hubiese llegado o estado tarde, nosotros no hubiéramos perdido el tren. ¿Ve? The second part of the sentence, guys, is like this. En la segunda parte, acuérdese que en la primera va coma, right? In the second part, we continue. Subject. Aquí quiero que me use would o could. Depends. Ok, no problem. Plus. Ok. Have. No have. Have is in the first part. This is have. Plus the past participle. And obviously the complement that you want to mention.
Okay, that's it. This is the structure for the second part. Okay? Y tenemos el tercer condicional. Quiere decir que el tercer condicional se compone de dos oraciones separadas por una coma. ¿Ve? If you hadn't been late, we wouldn't have missed the train. So, now we compare. Give me the first part. Deme la primera parte que le di, den de, por favor. Give me the... If... If my subject... Uh -huh. No, give me the sentence, the, 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 the example. If, if I have uh, eaten early. If I had eaten uh -huh, early. Very good. Ve, coma. This was the first part. Ahora hagamos la second part. Si yo hubiese comido temprano, ve, I wouldn't have, okay, I wouldn't have had um a gastritis for example mm -hmm. that's it si yo hubiese comido temprano yo no hubiera tenido gastritis right no es que tenga la gastritis ya no es algo que ya pasó en el pasado right okay ven y por qué estaba llorando ayer Franklin, ay, no, es que me dio gastritis. Ah, oh, really? Sí. Fíjate que si yo hubiera comido temprano, no me hubiera dado gastritis. ¿Ok? If I had eaten early, I wouldn't have had gastritis. ¿Ok? So, prácticamente es como otro regret. Se arrepiente de algo, right? Si yo hubiese comido temprano. Ah. So, this is the second structure. This is the second structure to express regrets. Okay, the first is should have past participle. Okay, that's easy. This one gets a little bit more complex, but it's not so, so difficult to understand. Pero lo que quiero es que usen past participle, please. No past tense, past participle, okay, for this. So, the second, the second sentence, please tell me the second sentence. If I, if I, my mom has, Cooked if lunch. my mom uh -huh, had cooked lunch, okay, ah, si mi mamá hubiese cocinado el almuerzo, ve, me hubiera comido todo. For example, right? Ve, I would have eaten everything. Ve, that's it. If my mom had cooked lunch, I would have eaten everything. Me hubiese comido todo, right? That's it. I would have eaten. Would, guys, en ese caso, usted puede usar would or could or wouldn't or couldn't. Okay, negative, etc. Okay, no problem. Number three, what was the number three, please? If I have said yes. Ah, if I had said, okay, yes. If I had said yes, coma, ¿eh? uh -huh. eh, Si yo hubiera dicho que sí, okay. Eh, let me see. Eh, Tom I would have been in Paris. Ok, very good. Yo iba a decir que Tom Cruise hubiese sido mi esposa. <risa> <risa> okay. I had said yes. Uh -huh. I would, ok, have been to Paris. Uh -huh. That's it. Quiere decir, esta es la explicación, que le dijeron, hey, vamos a París. Y usted dijo, no, es que mi novio... Me prohíbe que salga. Ah, ok. So, y se quedó aquí, vea. Y el chico la llevó apenas ahí al, al, allá a los planes de vender. Va. A Lula Ula. A Lula Ula. Then, my friend, ya pasa el tiempo, right? Y vio las pictures ahí de Lex. Ah, ok. I know. If I had said yes, I would have been to Paris with him. Ok. So, you see. Son prácticamente regrets expressed in the past, okay? Something, guys, that you can't change. No se puede cambiar. You can't change that, 
okay? So that's why it's called a regret, okay? You can change your future if you want to, or even your present a little bit, but your past is not changed and cannot be changed, okay? That's it. This is the second structure that I can, I can show you. Okay. And the first structure that we already uh, studied. Okay. Questions, guys? Questions? Algo que no han entendido, please? Díganme. Si, no, si tienen preguntas, digan. Si no. Other example? Other example, okay, um, let me check here. I'm looking for this one, okay. I'm gonna use here. Otro ejemplo, it's... vamos a ver. Sí, es otro regret, dígame otro regret en español para que más o menos tengan la idea de cómo traducirlo, right? Si yo, si yo qué. Eh, tell me one, please. Va, lo común. Si yo hubiese conectado todos los días, no hubiera perdido la beca. ¿Verdad? <ríe> ya de Correcto. Pronto, Ay, no, tío, no, ¿por qué? Bueno, jamás le van a volver a dar inglés gratis. ¿Ok? So, if I had, ¿ok? If I had um, joined, for example, I can use this. If I had joined my classes, ¿ok? Every day, okay, I wouldn't, no hubiese perdido, ¿ve? I wouldn't, uy, my goodness, I wouldn't have lost the scholarship, la beca, ¿ok? That's it, ¿ok? There you go. If I had joined my classes every day, I wouldn't have lost the scholarship. Quitémosle join, pongámosle attended, va. Attended. If I had attended, si yo hubiera asistido a mis clases todos los días, ve. If I had attended my classes every day, I wouldn't have lost the scholarship. This is Something that you cannot change. So, ¿qué puedo analizar de esta oración? Que ya le quitaron la beca. Porque ya dijo, if I had attended my classes every day, right? si yo hubiese, pero lo hubiese dicen no existe. It's, it's, it's something, a situation that you cannot change anymore. Ok? Other example. Les di esta para que vean que no solo es con cosas si así. No. De, Uh -huh. Si no hubiera enviado el reporte, no me hubieran regañado. Ah, si, si, si lo hubiese enviado. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. si lo hubiese enviado. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. We're going to have this one. Eh, let me check here. Espero que puedan ver abajo. Ok, el otro <laughs> ejemplo. If, ve, eh? I had sent the report, ve, eh? if I had sent the report, mi jefe no me hubiera regañado, ¿ve? Yes. My boss, ok, wouldn't, ok, wouldn't have scolded me. Uh -huh. ¿Ve? Scolded es regañado, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. That's it, scolded me, ok. Remember, teacher, Ahorita this is pasado, this is pasado, teacher. No, it's not. Frankly, this is not past. This is a past participle, but in 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 a regular. Sent no es pasado. Es el pasado participio, pero es el mismo, right? Sent, sent, sent. That's it, okay? Other example. Look, if I had sent the report, my boss wouldn't have scolded me. ¿Qué puedo analizar de esta oración? <laughs> que el jefe no regañó. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the opposite of what you are saying. Okay, that's it. Other question? Other? Okay. 
Well, my friends, we're gonna practice, don't worry. This is just the beginning, right? But we're gonna get the attendance, please, everybody, with the cameras on. Okay, Brandita, Cynthia, Veronica, Dalila, Carla, okay, uh, Gabriel, well, Gabby has a, a, a little permission there. Okay, Vero, very good. Okay, Carlita, Joana, Brandita, Araceli, and that's it. Carla, Beatriz, Aguilar, Marroquín. Oh my gosh, she's absent today. Okay, Carlita, okay. Next, eh, Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldán. Present teacher. Osmani Etzaú de León Hernández. Present. Vania Itzel eh, Deras de Cañas. Absent. Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Very good, Blanquita. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Very nice. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Dali, hello. Present. Ah, present. Ah, ok, very good. <laughs> Se había dormido. Pues. <laughs> María Araceli González Flores. <laughs> Ay, está despierta, very good. Bye. Así a las 7 y 9 de la mañana quiero tenerlos a todos con la cámara. ¿Sí? Porque este... Pueda que se meta alguien por ahí, ¿ok? So, María Araceli González Flores. Present. Present, very good. Cine Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Claudia Ileana Cazún de Mengiba. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. Hey, Brendita, hello. Uh, Jose Enrique Bermúdez Rivera. Absent, okay. Uh, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Oscar Xavier Morales Mira. And Carla Joana Martinez de Martinez. Present. Okay, very good. Ahí téngala, no se vaya, okay? There you go. Questions with these guys? Questions with this activity? With regrets, we're going to practice this, okay? And um, vamos a seguir con el coronavirus. <laughs> okay, that's it. You remember this one? Okay, she should have. Vamos a ahorita practicar con she should have. Cover her nose and mouth. This was the example that we had here. Next, read it, Carlita Joana, please. Okay. She's been having high fever and a cold for seven days. Mm -hmm. She didn't go to the hospital. I turned out she had coronavirus. Uh, okay. This is the problem. She's been having high fever and cough. <laughs> okay. What sería el regret de ella ahorita? No, pero no fue al hospital. So, what is it? Ya se murió. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Ojalá que no para chinita. Ah, okay. That's it. Hagámosla con el ejemplo, right? Con, con how, should how. ¿Cuál es el regret de ella? She's she having she high fever. If she had, if she when, when, participle, past participle. Uh, if she had go to the hospital. Uh -huh. So if she had gone uh -huh, to the hospital, very good, comma. She wouldn't have a fever. Very good. She wouldn't. Eh, that's it. Ah, oh, aquí está, mire, ella no hubiese, eh, she wouldn't have, ajá, uh -huh, a high, maybe, high fever, mm -hmm. fiebre tan alta, okay, that's it. Okay, very good, this is the first one. Ahora hagámosla con should have. Recuerden, hay dos estructuras, there are two structures. If she had gone to the hospital, she wouldn't have, uh, she wouldn't, oh my goodness, me comí aquí algo. She wouldn't have had, okay, high fever, okay? That's it. Remember uh, the, 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 this one, 
the past participle, okay? Next, with should have, usemos la primera estructura que aprendimos, right? She should have gone to hospital. Excellent. She should have uh -huh, gone to the hospital. That's it. Very good. Mira. Y ahí están dando ya dos oraciones basado en algo. ¿Puede cambiar eso? No, guys. You cannot change it. Le dio y le dio coronavirus, right? She got coronavirus. This is only regrets. Expressing regret. Something that you cannot change from the past. That's it. Okay? There you go. If she had gone to the hospital, she wouldn't have had high fever. She should have gone to the hospital. Ella debió de haber ido al hospital. Mm -hmm. That's it. Next. Okay, we're going to check here the answers. Okay, that we have here. She should have gone to the hospital mm -hmm. earlier. Well, this is the complement. Okay, that's it. We continue, okay, with the other ones. That's it. Um, other example that I have for you. Okay, so you can do it with me. Okay. <clears throat> Look at this. The government didn't take decisive action. Okay. Look. They should have taken decisive action. Cuando ustedes usen el should have, prácticamente van a decir lo opuesto del problema. ¿Ok? Yo no tomé la medicina. Ah, yo debí de haberme tomado la medicina. You see? ¿Ok? They should have taken decisive action in this case. ¿Ok? Other problem? Ha. Huh. What is the problem, Franklin? Can you read it? Uh -huh. Frank? Uh, we didn't uh, separate our trash. Ah, we didn't separate our trash. Veronica, what do you think here, Vero? Um. Con should have. Mm -hmm. we, uh -huh. we should um, have. We should have. Separated. Separated, ajá. Uh -huh. Our trash. Our trash. Excellent. Very good. Eh? No separamos la basura. Debimos de haber separado. Okay. That's it. Excellent. Very good. Okay. What about this one? Sinia, read it, please. We left plastic strand on the beach. Oh, we left plastic. ¿Qué debimos de haber hecho? ¿O qué no debimos de haber hecho? Ok, give me the answer, please. Uh -huh. Volunteers. We shouldn't have... We shouldn't... Uh -huh. have, have... Left... Left... Plastic straw on the beach. Plastic straw on the beach. Excellent. Very good. Okay. ¿Ve? Si digo algo positivo, lo voy a hacer en negativo. Si algo negativo, in positive. Okay. That's it. No debimos de haber dejado. This is the translation, right? That's it. Okay. That's it. Look. What is this? Okay. Read it, please. Um, Gabby. Oh, this is bad. Mm. La chica dice, I did it. Ay, lo hice. ¿Cuál es el arrepentimiento? <laughs> uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I lo, opuesto, sure? lo, lo opuesto de, de yo lo hice, ¿cuál sería? Yo no lo hice. <laughs> Yo no lo no hubiese lo, hecho. Ajá. No ajá. Sure. So, I... I should. I should. Ajá. I should. Ajá. No. I shouldn't. Uh -huh. I shouldn't. I should not have. Ajá. Uh -huh. Have. Very good. 
I should don't have a participle for um, did. Done. 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 Very good. So I shouldn't have done this. Ah, lo hiciste. I shouldn't have done it. I no, no debí de haberlo hecho. No debí. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Okay. That's it. Very, very good. Now, my friends, you are going to work with your partners. And I'm going to give you, okay, a, well, in this case, the regrets, okay? Let me, let me check if I have it here. I'm going to give you the, 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 the stuff here for practicing, okay? <clears throat> let me check where is my... Let me, let me check right now. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna find it out. You will have some, some, some uh, problems, okay? And in this case, for each problem, guys, you have to use, okay, this, let me close the, the windows that I have here for you. Okay, in this, in this case, what you're gonna do is that uh, you're gonna change the regrets to, okay, let me open the, 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 the book. I'm sorry that I have it closed. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna share the manual with you over here. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is, okay, uh, the first part that I have. Okay, page number 29, and then we have page number, uh, page number uh, 30. Okay, this is what we have here. Aquí tienen las estructuras, right? You have the structures and that's it. Here you have in the exercise number six in your books, you have the uh, sentences and you have to use, in this case, the models that we have here, okay? In parentheses, you have the possibility, okay, to do that. Eh, si se fijan, ninguna va con if aquí, ¿ok? So don't worry. Las otras con if las vamos a hacer en un momento, ¿ok? So page number 30, ¿ok? Page number 30, let's do the exercises with your partners. Open your manuals there, share the manual, and then we're going to check the answers together, ¿ok? Let me check, we're going to work right now in pairs and some of you are gonna work in trios. If you have questions, let me know and I will help you out. You have the model. I have a print. Uh, ah, okay. Teacher, only page 30. Exactly. Right, right now, only those exercises. Mm -hmm. Teacher, okay. you can share the the page, Wait. of course. Uh huh. But for the okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Check the screenshot. Las cosas me cuesta porque no estoy desde hoy no estoy desde el celular hoy estoy desde la compu aquí está mm. Mm -hmm. complete the did you, did you take the picture yes, yes. okay yes. very good uh -huh. mm -hmm. go ahead please okay uh, complete the sentences with... okay this okay Page uh, 23. Peter, welcome. Hello, hello. Yo, hey, Giovanni, oh. where are you? I only <laughs> see the office. <laughs> Peter, hey, uh, do you have the page? 
Yes, okay. uh, I, I don't have the page. Oh, I'm going to share it with you. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Page 30. Mm -hmm. 30. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. 30. Take the, the screenshot, you please. Mm -hmm. You got it? She has it. Uh -huh. She got it there. Uh -huh. Pero, go ahead. Simple sentences. Okay. I have five sentences. Pero, extra. <laughs> Thanks, Giovanni. The, bar, the bartender. The bartender. Mm -hmm. um, sure, sure not taking the bottle of wing without permission. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have to use should, could, or would. Me le agregan el have. In the past participle, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the partner then shouldn't? Shouldn't. Have. Have. Past participle for take. Talking. Talking. Uy, no, talking is the, <laughs> <laughs> the machines. The machines. Took. No. Calling machines. Past participle. Uh -huh. I don't know. Ah, yo va the past participle for take. The past participle. Um, Taken. Taken. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Taken. So? I remember. <laughs> you can type there. Okay. Very good. Did you take the picture? Do you have the picture for working? <clears throat> uh, no. Because I'm going, to, I'm going to go to another group. Okay. So you can continue working in the sentences. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. You have to share right now, Berito. It's you. <clears throat> I have. Uh -huh, but in the game, I have. Uh -huh. I did. Oh, hello, hello. Sinia, who is doing the exercise? Sinia, no. Your teacher, yo. Sinia, ah, ok. Eh, quite esa herramienta y dele click en la... No me sale. <laughs> yo le ayudo. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí a la plumita. Donde dice eso? firma. No, uh, next, next. A esa, ok. Click. Dele click. Okay. Ahí está ya. Dele añadir firma. Ajá. Y ahí abajo, abajo le sale, please. Ok, wait for a, maybe seconds. Ok. No, no aparece nada. No, eh, no it's a strange. Ahí está. Dele cancel, please. Cancel. Mm -hmm. Cancel. Okay, and then you start. It's es a letra más pequeñita, right? Mm -hmm. ah. So you say shouldn't uh -huh, have in the past participle for take. Okay. Past participle for take. Taken? Taken, excellent. Uh -huh. Shouldn't have taken. Ahí la puede hacer más pequeñita si quiere, okay? Shouldn't have taken. Excellent. Ahí está. There you go. Okay? okay. Very good. Okay. Continue, please. With the number three. Now you have to use would, not should. Would. Pero es la misma estructura. Would. Would. Mm -hmm. Be. Um, Don't forget the have. The have is important. Would have. Past participle for be. Ben, ben, excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. Tower. Nice, okay, so continue, it's... please. If they don't show. Okay. okay. <clears throat> wall, wall, pin. Don't forget the, the, the have, okay? Ah, it's true. <laughs> okay. Ah. Make it smaller. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then have... Wait. Have taken. Exactly. Uh, and the number two. Would... Is... Would have been. been. Uh -huh. Very good. Los meseros. ¿Verdad? Están. Uh -huh. Si hubieran estado en problemas, si ellos hubieran estado tarde para la 
Eh, reunión. Ajá. Reunión. Ajá. Very good. Continue, please. Very good. Okay. And sure. Finish, girls. Eh, no, 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 no yet. Eh, ask. Eh, ask. Ask. Eh, ask we, is, is, re is regular. Ili. Yes, it's regular. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. good. Ili. Ili. Okay. Ask. Eh, the class show have asked. Uh -huh. Should have asked. Okay. Uh, the fine shouldn't finish my friends hello yes yeah. yes okay can you can i see your answer please uh, i complete my in my computer <laughs> oh my me god too. <laughs> okay <laughs> Give me the answers then. I'm going to share it with you and you give me the answers, okay? The number two, okay. <clears throat> the bartender children have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Very good. Sophie, number three. The servers would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Excellent. Number four. You should have asked the manager for a day off. Okay, what is the past participle for ask? Asked. asked. Excellent, uh-huh, ED, asked. Very good, number five, please. The cashier should not have taken that money from the register. Excellent, very good, shouldn't have taken. And number six, excellent. I should have called to let the manager I was sick. Excellent, okay, to let the manager, oh, there is a, a, a mistake there. Ahí hay un errorcito. Póngamele, to let the manager know, para hacerle saber al gerente que yo estaba enfermo, okay? To let the manager know I was sick, okay? okay. <clears throat> Excellent, very good job. Excellent, nice, 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 okay? Very good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back okay with the other groups to check if they have finished already. Okay. okay. You are done. Excellent. Teacher, welcome. Okay, hello, hello. Let me check. I Are should have room? called the okay. cashier shouldn't have taken, would have been, should have asked, and should have hey, excellent. Very good. excellent. 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 Good guys. Congratulations, Joa. Let me continue checking the other guys' work. Okay. Very good. Where? Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Okay, finish, girls. Uh, as this part mm -hmm. complete. Yes, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Can I? No, no, no. This part, no. Just the other one. Uh huh. Only page uh, thirty. Page thirty. Uh huh. Right okay. now, page thirty. Let's see. Should I have taken? Would have been? Uh, should have asked? Shouldn't have taken and should have called. Perfect. Very good. Yeah. Araceli and Sinia. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Great. Very yes. nice. Let me check the other people's job. Excellent. Okay. Hello. Hey, hello, hello. Finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let yes. me check. Uh -huh. Should have taken, would have been, should have asked, should have taken again, and I should have called. Great, very good, perfect, yeah. very nice, okay? Good, very good, guys. Now, we're going to come back to the main session because we have other, mm -hmm. other exercises, okay? Okay, okay. Congratulations, people, because you did a very good job. Okay, nice. You did very, very good exercises. Okay. Franklin, Estelita. Okay. So uh, that's it. Should have. That's it. Let's check here, guys. Uh, right now, I'm going to share with you uh, this, this part. Okay, because this is important for you to have it. Um, 
Let me let me check. Okay, right now. Um, we're going to we're going to continue, okay, talking about this part. Uh, right now, please, I want you to check your check your stuff here. Should have. Okay, let me see here. Okay. Do you do you receive that? Do you have this? Yes. Okay. Should have. Okay, this is the one that I want you to do this, okay? I want you to use should have or shouldn't have. I give you here problems. For example, you failed your history test last week. Es la realidad, lo dejó. Fail. Perdió su examen de historia, right? So, what you have to do here, guys, is to write here the regret. Ah. Si fallé mi examen, ¿qué tuve que haber hecho? What should I have done? And then you say here, okay? Yeah, study. Uh huh. So, you should have. Should have uh -huh. studied. 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 Uh huh. More, for example. This is what you have to do. Number two, you fell off your bicycle, your heart, and hurt your leg a few days ago. Okay, this is the problem. So what you have to do, okay, in this case, right? It's to check right now, okay, and give me. Uh, and give me the, the 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 sentence, but now the regret with should have or shouldn't have. Okay, this is what you have to do with your partners. Uh, did you open the the file? Do you have it? Open it, please. Ojalá sea ese. Ese es. Yes, is that one? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Let's start working once again with your partners, please. Okay. Accept the invitation, and I'm gonna be there checking. Remember, the answers can be different because you have to use your 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 memory. Okay, your memory, your creativity. Okay. Mm. So you use whatever whatever. Um, in this case, a. Uh, whatever answer but using should have should have or shouldn't have plus the past policy accept the invitation okay and let's start working Hoy me costó, es que entré en el celular en la mañana, pero ahorita ya estoy aquí en el, el trabajo. El trabajo. <risa> ok. Estaba por rato, ayer se me, me tuve que conectar del celular al final cuando estaba pasando lista porque quedó trabada justo cuando estaba diciendo los nombres. <risa> Así me pasa a mí con mi internet. Ay, sí. Miren, yo les, yo les digo, bañense. Ah. Cuando no se baña, ¿verdad? todo le va bien. Ah. Ah. ah, Carlita. Ok, Carlita, let's start. Well, the number one was an example. Continue with the number two, please. Mm -hmm. okay. Should have or shouldn't have? Eh, Guerrero, you fell of your bicycle and I have a little Is you have learned you have learned me around the bicycle. Around the uh -huh, bicycle. Yes, uh, you sh uh -huh. no hubiese este eh, corrido tanto, right? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. En la bicicleta, obviamente, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
You should have run it. You should or shouldn't? shouldn't. You should. Uh -huh, okay. You should. And check, please. Check the past participles of the verbs, okay? Okay. This is important. Check the past participles. You shouldn't. No, you should have learned or no. You fell off your bicycle and hurt your leg a few days ago. This is the result of something. Mm -hmm. or, oh, or, maybe, or maybe you shouldn't have uh, saltar. Uh, jump. Jump. The rock. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. okay, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't have. Uh, In uh, negative. negative. Uh -huh. In negative. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, jump jump with ed but that feature yes because it's regular mm -hmm. give it down Bon Jump yeah. eh, unido. Eh, va unido, jump eh, como, um, Jumped. Y di. Jumped. Okay. That's it. Continue. With Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, Gabby. Okay, can I check? You. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. You should have stood more. Riding is for a bicycle, right? Yes, that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Very okay. good. You you should have. In this case, you can use your, your, your creativity. For example, you got lost on your trip on London on London London last summer. Well, you should have gone. No, no. No, for example, mm -hmm. si se perdió, no de este, tú debiste de haber usado un mapa, debiste de haber comprado un mapa, uh, debiste uh, de haberle pedido ayuda a alguien. Es que uh, había. Ajá. O de opposite. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Creímos que era um, que se había perdido el viaje. Ah, no. You, you got lost on your trip. Ajá. De uh, se perdió en el viaje a London. Ajá. And you have, you should have, you should have, tener, ¿cuál es el tener? Have, have. the past have, participle? Uh, have. Have, no, excellent. Have, uh -huh. have. Mm -hmm. have. You. Ah, uh, you should have uh, eating in the mo more in the morning. Oh, maybe. very good. Yes, very good. <laughs> uh -huh. Eating more. <laughs> mm -hmm. or, or even you can say you should have prepared or cooked your food in your house, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you didn't have enough money. You have to your own lunch. Your own lunch. Very good. You drop a cup in Inverca. You should have had careful 
Drop, drop. With. Ah, okay. With uh, the cup. Okay. In this case, uh, Exa and Vero, uh, when you say you should have had careful, esta expresión, had careful, es como que estuvieran traduciendo directamente del español. En inglés, la expresión tener cuidado es be careful. Be careful. Entonces, ah. Aquí no sería how, sino que aquí póngame el verbo be. Uh -huh. Being be careful. careful. Excellent. You should have been careful with the cup. Uh -huh. Very good. Es como tengo hambre, no se dice I have hungry, sino I am hungry. I am. So, the same. <laughs> Tené cuidado, no se dice have careful, no. Be careful, right? Okay. Number seven, you forgot your sister's birthday and she got very angry. Ay, ay, ay. What in, in the calendar? <laughs> no, what is the past participle of right? Reading. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. I should have written. The sister birthday in the calendar. Ah, very good. My, Sweet. my. Ah, no, no, sorry, your sister's. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your sister's birthday yeah. in the calendar. Calendar, very good. Yes, this is a good option. Number eight. Okay, continue. Way too much. You <laughs> should learn. <laughs> Hello, Giovanni and Blanquita. Hi. Hello. Shouldn't have traveled. Uh huh. Edi, please. In ED, uh -huh. traveled. Agreguele la, agreguele la ED para que sea pasado participio. Uh -huh. Traveled, uh -huh. exactly. You shouldn't have traveled to London. Eso te eche. Ok, You were late for your English class yesterday. Hmm. You should uh -huh. wait. Wait. You should, ajá, uh -huh, pero ahí pa, le pasa ah. el have, ajá, uh -huh. yes, Blanquita, very good. You It's should, ajá, uh -huh. pass participle of wake. When. <laughs> no, when, let's go. <laughs> wake, <laughs> wake. Ajá, uh -huh. pass participle for wake. Uh -huh. W A K E, okay, se lo regalo. Walk, eh, walking. Walking. Ajá, uh -huh. that's it. Mm. Uh -huh. Walking up. Walking up early. Uh -huh. Early. Okay, that's it. Very good. You wanted to buy lunch, but you didn't have enough money. You wanted to... Two... Two... Two passes to... Two passes to buy the almuerzo, pero... You didn't have money, it says. Uh-huh. Ah, so... Entonces, el problema es que compré el almuerzo, pero no tenía dinero. Eh, no sé. Mm, <risa> debería de gavetear a la mamá para irse al almuerzo. <risa> Debió de haber. Ajá. Pasado, remember. You should, you should have... <risa> Uh -huh, uh -huh. Take. Taken uh -huh. money, money from the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, Nancy. No, sí. Good creativity. 
Lo que pasa es que lo hace. Yes, good creativity. De cashier, pues, de yes, ok. Trumpet. Ok. Ok, Franklin, voy a pasar la asistencia suya, ok. Franklin, hello. Teacher. Hello, teacher, Franklin. Present, a... present, teacher. Ya estoy okay. en llamada. Ok, very good. Excellent. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Él se tiene que retirar ahorita tempranito, unos 10 minutos antes, porque tiene llamada ya en la oficina, ok, pero. He has been here. My friends, we're going to check the answers, but uh, uh, this is the second attendance, okay, that we have. So please tell me present, okay? Uh, let's start with uh, Carlita, pero faltan algunos todavía, okay? Uh, Giovanni is missing, who's missing Blanquita, okay? That's it. Well, we have the first one, okay? Carla Beatriz Aguilar Marroquín, well, is absent. Ok. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Osmani Etzaú de León Hernández. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. Is absent. Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Is present. Ok. Ya dijo el presente, solo que tiene llamada de trabajo ahorita. Ok. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Dalila, hello. Oh, she was here minutes ago. Okay, maybe she got problems in the connectivity. Maria Araceli González Flores. Present. Cine Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Present, Sofía. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Absent. Claudia Ileana Casún de Mengíbar. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. Very nice. José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera. Absent. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Oscar Xavier Morales Mira. Absent. And Carla Joana Martínez de Martínez. Present. Okay, very good. Well, quickly guys, we're going to check. You share, please share your answers. I'm going to, I'm going to type here. Okay, the information that you have from this one, right? Uh, well, the number one, uh, you failed your history test. Okay, that's it. That was the number one. Uh, give me the number two, please. You fell off your bicycle and hurt your leg a few uh, days ago. What is the answer that you have there? Maybe you shouldn't have jumped. Mm -hmm. You... Oh my God, I'm sorry. You, in this case, uh -huh, you shouldn't have... No, teacher. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, ah, the number two, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, it's here. Uh -huh. Okay, you uh, shouldn't have... Jump. Jumped. Uh-huh. Uh, rock. A rock. Ok, very good. This is like, ah, no debí de haber saltado la piedra. Alguien por ahí también revisé. You shouldn't have ridden your bicycle. Ok, other option. Ok, but for please, me. you have to use should and have and the verb in the present, uh, in the in past participle. Number three, Sophie, you got lost on your trip to London last summer. What is your answer? Me? Yes, Sophie. You got lost. You got lost on your trip to London last I should, summer. I should have used a map. Ah, very use good. A map. A to map. Not... Okay. I used to... For not getting lost. Para no perderse. Uh -huh. That's it. For not getting lost. Excellent. Very good. Number four, Carlita Joana, you were late for your English class yesterday. Um, 
I should have woken mm -hmm. early. I should have woken woken early. Aha, uh -huh, woken up early. Aha, uh -huh, very good, excellent. You should have woken up early. Next, number five. Okay, let me ask Gabby. Gabby, number five, you wanted to buy lunch, but you didn't have enough money. You should have. Aha. Uh -huh. You should have. You should have had enough money. You should have had enough money enough for money. you. Huh? For your lunch. Okay. For you your should lunch. have had. You should have had. Miren, perdón, así. You should have had, okay, enough money to buy your lunch. Okay, that's it. Uh, or any other, any other recommendation here? Like all the other regret. Este, Giovanni has a new, a good one. You Salvadorian should, one. <laughs> I should have. Mm -hmm. Giovanni, le está diciendo. Lo siento. Uh, Giovanni, uh -huh. Giovanni, please activate your microphone. Okay, number, number five. Number five. You should have. You should have taking money from house. <laughs> okay, very good. Eh? la mamá cuando está descuida. Okay. <laughs> you should have taken money from the house, right? If you didn't have enough money, man, at least they le quitado tu mamá. Uh -huh, eh? Okay. Pero, you drop a cup and. Eh, and you dropped a cup and it broke. Okay. Pero, uh, yes, teacher. You should. Uh, 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 shouldn't. Should, um, should have been careful with the cup. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, you should have been careful with it, uh -huh, with uh, the cup. Excellent, very good. Nice. Next, number seven, please, Araceli. Give me your answer, number seven. You forgot your sister's birthday and she got very angry. Um, okay, no, no hicimos esto, pero... Okay, I tell me. You, you will have. Mm -hmm. Forgot. Ah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't have. Uh -huh. No debiste de haber olvidado. You shouldn't have. Forgotten. Uh -huh. Forgotten. Okay. Your, your sister's uh, birthday. Okay, your sister's birthday. Okay, that's it. So, that's it. Forgotten, remember, past participle, past participle. Okay? okay? The last one, you ate too much ice cream last night and it didn't feel well. Exa. Hello. <laughs> you ate too much ice cream last night and now uh, you feel well. You should have eaten too much ice cream. Okay, you shouldn't have eaten uh -huh, too much ice cream. Okay, very, very, very good. That's it. So, you know, guys, you have two options, right? These are the exercises that we have here. And obviously there, you have two options to express regrets in English. La primera es usando should have plus past participle or shouldn't have, depends. The second one is with the third conditional, el tercer condicional, ahí está la estructura, right? If, past participle, coma, would, o could, plus have, plus past participle, okay? Those are some exercises you can find in the platform, right? So you can do the exercises without any, any problem, right? Questions, comments? 
Well, we have tutorial. Tenemos tutorial este viernes, así que probablemente más de alguno llegue, ¿verdad? Ajá, con este tema. To practice more. So, recuerde, cada vez que quiera arrepentirse de algo, use esas estructuras, right? I shouldn't have, ¿ok? Los, los que mañana se conectan, ay, ay, mejor te hubiera faltado ayer. I shouldn't have missed the class yesterday, ¿ok? Ok, oh, if I hadn't missed the class yesterday, I wouldn't have gotten lost in the class, <laughs> ok, etc. So, those are the structures, guys, for the video conference for today for past models, ok. Questions, no? Eh, solo un comentario. Sí. Ok, Jova. Uh -huh. Los que faltan de confirmarme por correo. La participación para el siguiente módulo tenemos hasta hoy para que sea continua la inscripción. Así Perfecto. que su apoyo para los que faltan. Ok, very good. Los del correo que no han mandado su confirmación para seguir el módulo, pues vamos, ok. So, teacher. Y, yes, Gavita. No sé si Beatriz le escribió y le explicó lo que, lo que le pasó. Eh, Beatriz le escribió a Franklin y él me escribió. Ah, ok. Ajá, ah, yes. okay. Voy a pasar okay. ahí el reporte, ok, para, 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 porque se siente enfermita Beatriz ahorita, ok. okay. So, that's it, no worry, Gavita. My friends, don't forget that, acuérdense la responsabilidad que tenemos con las cárceles de inglés, al menos este módulo, y si siente bien seguir, pues, there you go, remember. Creo que estamos viviendo momentitos también raros, ¿verdad? Y todo, pero ahora creo que la mayoría de cosas van a seguir así en línea, así que pues, Creo yo que, bueno, a mí me desestresaría un poquito, vea, estar en clases aparte, así como tener algo opcional también, el crecimiento profesional, de professional growth is important, guys. Acuérdense que el que no sabe inglés últimamente va quedando obsoleto. Así que ya que son gratis las clases desde su casa, yo sé que cuesta levantarse a veces, pero pues todo es posible cuando hay buena voluntad, ¿ok? Thank you guys for joining the class. See you tomorrow, okay? Have a beautiful morning and a delicious breakfast. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Gavita. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. bye. bye.